Hello everybody. Today we are going to use balloon to make a sculpture of a lollipop or hand fan. Let's inflate any bright color balloon leaving about 1 inch flat tail. Now we have to twist the first and the second a soft about 1 inch long bubbles. And then we have to lock all ends of the first two bubbles in one lock twist. We can use different techniques to make uh, the same looking sculpture. And there are a lot of use for this kind of sculptures in balloon twisting. Uh, in some of the future instructions we're going to talk about it in details. Now let's twist the third about 5 inch long bubble. Lock both ends of the third bubble in one lock twist. Now we have to wrap balloon around the third bubble to measure the size of the fourth bubble. You have to stretch balloon slightly when you wrap it around the third bubble. This way we avoid any gaps between bubbles. Make a full loop around the third bubble. At this spot you twist the fourth bubble. And then you lock both ends of the fourth bubble in one lock twist. Now without any rush, gently force the third bubble inside of the loop of the fourth bubble. Our sculpture should have circle shape. It is not a ball, a circle shape. Here's a side view, the front view. Basically we just made small size lollipop or a hand fan. We can use the rest of the balloon as a handle. Or we can make a larger size sculpture. Let's measure size of the fifth bubble. Wrap the balloon around the fourth bubble, slightly stretching it at the same time. Twist the fifth bubble at this spot. And then we lock both ends of the fifth bubble in one lock twist. The rest of the balloon is a sixth bubble. I'm going to use it as a handle for our lollipop. Now let's very gently force our sculpture inside of the loop of the fifth bubble. Fix all bubbles in proper positions. Ta-da! Congratulations! We have made a lollipop or hand fan. At the beginning of these instructions I mentioned that there are different ways, different techniques uh, we can use to make sculptures that will look about the same. It looks like we have time to make one more lollipop. Let's inflate bright color balloon leaving no more than one inch flat tail. We can actually use less than that. This time we're going to make spiral uh, shape starting from the nozzle of the balloon. I'm going to twist very long first bubble leaving about seven inch bubble at the very end of the balloon. Then we twist uh, the second and third very soft about one inch long bubbles. Lock all ends of the second and third bubbles in one lock twist. The rest of the balloon is a fourth bubble. It is a handle. Now I am going to roll the first bubble in a spiral shape. Starting from the nozzle of the balloon. Fold the balloon about no more than three inch away from the nozzle. And wrap the first bubble around itself. We have to stretch the first bubble slightly, uh, leaving no gaps between uh, walls of the bubble. Don't worry too much if uh, balloon suddenly jumps out of your hands like that. It happens quite often with everyone. Just take your time, work carefully, paying attention to everything you do. We have to mark the spot where the second and the third bubbles uh, touch the side of the first bubble, right here. Right at this point we're going to split the first bubble on two bubbles. Let's unfold our balloon. At the marked spot we twist the fifth bubble. Keep in mind the fifth bubble is located between the first and the second bubbles. Now we have to lock both ends of the fifth bubble in one lock twist. And then again we have to wrap the first bubble in a spiral shape. Once again we fold the balloon about no more than three inch away from the nozzle. Wrap the first bubble, slightly stretching it around itself. And then we gently force the first bubble, the spiral, inside of the loop of the fifth bubble. Fix all bubbles in proper positions. Uh, make sure there is no gaps between bubbles. Actually in this uh, example there is uh, one gap between bubbles at the spot where we connected all bubbles in one lock. I think uh, making sculpture using this technique it's uh, uh, virtually impossible to avoid this little gap. Congratulations again, we have made spiral shaped lollipop. 
We can place the handle in different positions. We can bend it if necessary. We can use the sculpture as it is, as a, a lollipop, as a hand fan, as a part of uh, bigger, larger size sculptures. We can use it to make Mickey Mouse ears, uh, aliens eyes, hats and so on. It already looks like uh, some monster eyes. If necessary, we can make the lollipop much larger size. In this example, I'm going to use yellow balloon to add one more bubble to our first lollipop. Tie the nozzle of the yellow balloon between the first and the second red bubbles. Stretch the yellow balloon around the fifth red bubble to measure the size of the yellow bubble. Twist the first yellow bubble, lock both ends of the first yellow bubble in one lock twist. Now let's uh, nice and gently force our sculpture inside of the loop of the first yellow bubble. Fix all bubbles in proper positions. Alright, now we can cut off the rest of the yellow balloon, tie off the end. Congratulations, we have made very large size lollipop with no sugar, no cholesterol, absolutely not eatable. <laughs> have fun and happy twisting.